Ever wondered why the planet Mars captivates our curiosity so much? This celestial neighbor, visible in the sky for at least part of the year, is an enigma that continues to pique our interest. Every two years and two months, Mars comes into opposition, a celestial event that brings it close to Earth and makes it appear at its largest and brightest. During this time the red planet becomes one of the most brilliant objects in the sky, presenting itself as an awe-inspiring orange-red point of light that stands out against the backdrop of stars. However, this close proximity is a bit of an illusion. Despite its impressive display, to actually see the surface details of Mars, one would need a telescope. And not just any telescope, the larger the better. The red planet with its fiery glow has been a source of wonder for centuries but what do we really know about it? Going back in time Mars came into existence about 4.6 billion years ago. Just like Earth, it was born from the celestial dust and gas swirling around our young Sun. This cosmic debris gradually coalesced forming the planet we now call Mars. In its early years, Mars was a hot molten world, its surface constantly reshaped by volcanic activity and meteor impacts. This tumultuous period gave birth to Mars's unique geological features. Its northern hemisphere for instance was smoothed out by ancient lava flows, while the southern hemisphere has been left scarred with countless craters. Mars also boasts the largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons, a testament to its fiery past. It's a planet marked by its history, its surface tells a tale of billions of years of geological transformation. From a fiery birth to a planet filled with valleys and volcanoes, Mars has had quite a transformation. A testament to the incredible power and dynamism of our universe. The red planet's surface is a sight to behold, marked by a stark contrast between the northern and southern hemispheres. As we traverse the Martian landscape, we find ourselves in a world of extremes. The north, with its smooth plains, stretches out like a vast rust-colored desert a testament to the planet's volcanic past. Imagine if you will, a terrain so flat and expansive it makes the Sahara look like a sandbox. These plains however, are not just barren flatlands, they are the canvas upon which Mars paints its story. The soil, rich in iron, gives Mars its iconic red hue, the same color that makes it stand out in our night sky. And beneath this soil, the remnants of ancient lava flows whispered tales of the planet's fiery infancy. Now let's venture south, to the cratered highlands. Here the landscape is dramatically different. Pockmarked with countless craters, it's as if time itself has bombarded the land, leaving behind a battlefield of geological scars. This rugged terrain is a stark reminder of the cosmic ballet, a dance of celestial bodies that has been ongoing for billions of years. But Mars is not just a planet of plains and craters. It is a planet of chasms and volcanoes. The Valles Marineris, a system of canyons that runs along the Martian equator, is a chasm so large it makes the Grand Canyon seem modest. And Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in our solar system, towers above the Martian surface, a silent sentinel standing guard over the red planet. So, from smooth plains to crater-filled highlands, Mars is a planet of extremes. It is a world shaped by fire and ice, a world marked by the ebb and flow of time. It is a world that beckons us, inviting us to unravel its mysteries. And as we delve deeper into the exploration of Mars, we are not just uncovering the secrets of another world, but also gaining insights into our own planet and perhaps our place in the cosmos. But what about the air on Mars, or rather its atmosphere? Well, it's a thin layer, mainly composed of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen and argon. There are small amounts of water vapor, oxygen and other gases, but they make up less than 1% of the atmosphere. This thin atmosphere is unable to retain heat, resulting in a frigid climate with temperatures that can drop to minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit at night. The Martian atmosphere also influences the weather giving Mars dust storms that can cover the entire planet for months. These storms are fueled by the sun's heat, which warms the Martian surface and lifts dust particles into the atmosphere, creating a cycle of dust and wind. On the flip side, the thin atmosphere means that Mars has a much weaker greenhouse effect compared to Earth, resulting in a cooler and much drier climate. With an atmosphere so thin, Mars presents us with a climate unlike anything we have on Earth. Fast forward to the present day, Mars continues to intrigue us with its mysteries. This celestial body, marked by ancient volcanoes, craters and chasms, remains a subject of fascination and scientific exploration. Our understanding of Mars has dramatically improved over the years, thanks to the numerous missions launched by space agencies from across the globe. Orbiters, landers and rovers have graced the Martian surface, 
each contributing valuable information to our collective knowledge pool. In fact, at this very moment, there are ongoing missions tirelessly studying the Martian landscape, atmosphere and potential signs of past life. Take for example NASA's Perseverance rover roaming the Martian terrain, collecting samples and capturing images that are nothing short of breathtaking. We've also got the European Space Agency's ExoMars mission, planned to launch in the near future, which will further investigate the potential for life on Mars. But Mars is not just a destination for robotic exploration, it's also a potential new home for humanity. The idea of establishing human settlements on Mars is no longer the stuff of science fiction. Visionaries like Elon Musk, with his ambitious plans for SpaceX's Starship, are working towards making human colonies on Mars a reality. This might sound like a far-off future, but the wheels are already in motion. Every two years and two months Mars comes into opposition making it particularly close to Earth and providing the best view of the red planet. During these times Mars becomes one of the brightest objects in the sky, appearing to the naked eye as a brilliant orange-red point of light. However, to truly appreciate the intricate details of the Martian surface, a telescope is needed, and the larger the telescope, the better the view. The exploration of Mars is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. As we continue to explore, we're not only learning about the Red Planet, but also about our own. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the Red Planet, who knows what we might discover next?